I'll make it all come true. What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Ferg here back again with another brand new Call of Duty Mobile YouTube video here on the main channel. Now, as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail of today's video, we're going to be discussing the top five assault rifles inside of the ranked playlist. If you don't know what ranked is, it's the competitive playlist inside of Call of Duty Mobile where you play against people of a similar rank to yourself. So like if you're a legendary rank, you'll probably play against other legendary ranks inside of that game mode. Now, the reason why I do these videos a little bit after the balance changes actually happen is because I like to take out a lot of time from my day and actually use every single gun extensively, which basically means that I like to use them for a long period of time before I give you guys my opinions now these balance changes will be the balance changes that will be used in season four of ranks now if you don't know season four actually comes out tomorrow as you're watching this video if you're watching this video on the day of release now if you're new around here make sure to hit that subscribe button and comment down below what your favorite or your best assault rifle is inside of the game and let's get right into this So coming in at that number five spot, it is none other than the AK-117. This gun is absolutely dominant in the long range areas. Unfortunately, it kind of drops off on the close range encounters because it just gets outshined by other assault rifles and other submachine guns inside of the game. However, I love the AK-117. It used to be my favorite and my go-to assault rifle back in season one when I was number one on the leaderboard and I still actually like to use it here and there now unfortunately it's just number five saying that number five is still a very very good spot to hold and it is still a very very good weapon so if you guys don't know I actually rate these guns on effectiveness of prime and versatility for the AK-117 the effectiveness of its prime which is long range encounters I would give it a solid 10 that's right we're going to be giving a 10 out for its effectiveness of prime it's still by and large the best long range shooting rifle inside of this game unfortunately for the versatility currently inside of the game it's not not very versatile especially close range it just gets absolutely obliterated by other rifles and submachine guns so i'm gonna give it a solid five that's still a score of 15 which is still absolutely great unfortunately it's just not up there with other assault rifles on this list So coming in at number four, we have an assault rifle that was just nerfed. This assault rifle used to be the best gun in the game, hands down for competitive and pro play, and it is none other than the Type 25. It recently got a nerf, but it is still a great gun. Unfortunately, you never see anyone use this gun in ranked anymore, even though that it can still have its useful situations. It shoots really fast, and the recoil is actually quite controllable if you have a grip on it. Unfortunately, if you take that grip off, the recoil does bounce around quite a bit. This is actually actually the opposite of what the AK-117 is like to use. Like we said, long distance, whereas this is close and short distances. It can compare it with SMGs and it's very, very good in those close range encounters. However, there are guns on this list that are a little bit better than it in close range and that is why it's taking the number four spot. It's dropped down three places from number one to number two to number three, right down to number four. With that being said, its effectiveness of prime close range, I would give it a solid eight and its versatility, I would also say an eight as well, just because it can actually beam people across the map if you have a grip on it, similar to how the AK-117 could, just not as good as how the AK-117 can. All right, now time for our first honorable mention. This gun is really, really good now. It recently got a buff where its recoil was actually reduced and it's going to be implemented into the game as a ranked reward this season. It's none other than the Man of War. You'll be able to get it free, so everyone will be able to use this gun. It's great for close encounters. Fortunately, it falls off long range because it still does have quite a lot of kick. In the gameplay you're seeing, I'm actually using a grip and you can still see it bounce around quite a lot. Of course, you won't be able to use this skin when you get it for free it is an industrial revolution skin that you'll be getting for free i believe it's going to be the last rank reward depending on whether you're watching this video before or after the april 1st ranked reset you'll already know whether or not it's called the industrial revolution and whether or not you can get it for getting master 2 similarly how you could get the locust for getting master 2 in season 3 of ranked i would say that this gun has an effectiveness of prime of an 8 similar to the type 25 unfortunately its versatility is lackluster so i I 
would only give it a 5 out of 10 for versatility. It is an honorable mention. I thought it deserves at least a shout out in this video because it is a very interesting assault rifle to use. So coming in at that number three spot it is none other than the brand new weapon that was added into the game recently, the KN-44. Now, when this gun was first added, there was a ton of hype in the community because it was probably the coolest looking skin to be added to a new gun inside of Call of Duty Mobile. But of course, we're not talking about the aesthetic of the gun. We're talking about how good the gun can actually be and how well you can use it inside of the game. This gun is actually good over all ranges. It doesn't stand out in any particular particular area but because it's so versatile it makes it a very very good assault rifle to actually use inside of call of duty mobile it's good if you want to hang back and cover angles and play passive but it's also very good if you want to run and gun close quarters and just try and take everyone out as well so for that reason the versatility which i'm going to give first for this gun because it's its main attribute is actually going to be rated a 10 out of 10 it's so versatile i absolutely love this gun unfortunately there is no effectiveness on prime of this gun it's really good everywhere but because there's no one particular area that it's the best in and it gets like shined by multiple different guns in the category i'm only going to be giving it a six out of ten which means it's actually drawed with the type 25 but i believe it to be a better weapon than the type 25 currently at least in my opinion Coming in at our second honorable mention, it is the HBR. The reason this is not in the list and is actually an honorable mention is because on these kind of lists, I only like to put guns in the top five that everyone can use. And not everyone can use the HBR currently because it's not released for free and there is no free HBR coming up in the April 1st update. But either way, I thought I would give my opinion on the gun anyway because I love it. If it was to be on this list, I would honestly put it at the number two spot because it's absolutely insane. Scene. versatility hands down is a 10 it's a great gun close range great gun medium great gun long it's better than the kn44 that's for sure 100 not only is it a great gun but it actually looks pretty cool also its effectiveness at prime it's similar to the kn where there is not really one particular prime where you can use it but the fact that it's so good everywhere i would honestly just give it an e and it would be rated an 18 however i can't put it on this list because you know it's a pay to win weapon pretty much it's not the best gun in the game but it's still literally up there it's really high really really high All right, now let's get into the number two spot. This might come as a surprise to you guys because I actually don't particularly like this gun, at least when I first started using it. Now, if you've been watching my stream channel, link down below on screen right now as well, you would know that I've been testing out all these guns while I'm live streaming. And the BK, when I first picked it up, I actually really disliked it. That was when I was using a suppressor on it. I took the suppressor on and then I got to feel its real range and par. And I would say that this gun is slightly better than the KN40. It's high damage output combined with the fire rate and the range that it has makes it a really viable option for season four ranked. With that being said, I believe the versatility to be around a nine. It's really good in all encounters, especially close and medium range. And then if you have a four grip on, you can beam people across the map pretty damn easily. Then for effectiveness of prime, I would give it a solid seven. Similar to the HBR and KN44, because they are very versatile weapons, their primes are not really easily distinguishable, but they are still great and the bk is an absolutely fantastic weapon in pretty much all categories of distance so that gives it an overall score of 17 which is a very respectable score now let's get into number one The number one gun in the game outshines everything by a mile. It's not even close. This gun is by far the best assault rifle in the game currently, and it will probably be the best assault rifle in the game going over the whole of season four ranked unless they implement some kind of quick hot fix or hot balance change into the game. Honestly, I would be surprised if this gun doesn't get nerfed within the next couple of weeks just by itself. I think they will probably shadow nerf it where you don't know that it's going to get nerfed, but we'll all probably wake up one day and it will not be as good as what we remember it being so basically it's the asm 10 
I use the black and gold skin on this gun for the most part on stream. And I just find it super easy to get nukes and ranked with this gun. It's a three shot kill to the body when they are close. It does 34 damage. Wrap that around your head. It's three shots to kill with this gun. It's an assault rifle that kills in three guns up close. It's absolutely absurd how good this gun is close range, which is surprising because recently before the balance update, it was actually a long range assault rifle instead of a close range assault rifle. But they've changed that now with this buff. Now, effectiveness of Prime, I would give it a solid 10 out of 10. There is no gun in the game currently that has a faster time to kill that's a machine gun than the ASM-10. It is literally absurd how good this gun is. Absolutely crazy. And since it still has the traits of the old ASM-10 long range, it means that it is really good and really versatile. Like it has everything. For versatility, I would give it a nine, which rates this gun overall at a 19 out of 10. Now, if you want to see me go 52 and 0 with this gun, the full gameplay, not just the gameplay that you're seeing right now, I'm gonna be uploading that on my highlights channel tomorrow. Make sure to go ahead and check that out in the link down below but there you have it guys there's the top five assault rifles inside of call of duty mobile for the start of season four i will make another top five if there is another balance update which i think they might do just because of how good this gun actually is of course it will come out probably three or four days after that balance update releases just so that i can get to grips and play a lot with every single gun i'm sure this list probably surprised a lot of you and i hope you're happy with my decisions on which guns are the best inside of the game with that being said make sure to subscribe if you guys are new for more call of duty mobile videos every single day check out my other channels in the description down below it's been your boy ferg and without further ado let's roll the outro bye